Install the Animime add-on by going to Edit, Preferences, Add-on, and Install from Disk. This is the animated scene we'll be working with. To keep this video short, we will focus on one line of dialogue from a character. Select the armature of the character you want to work with. Make sure the character has a keyframe to return to. This will allow your Animime character to reintegrate seamlessly back into your scene. If you don't have a scene set up, no keyframe is required. Please be careful not to change frames until this process is complete. Select both the mesh and armature of your character and press the slash button to isolate them. This will allow you to work unobstructed. Reselect the mesh and go over to the materials property. Add a new material slot. This will be the slot for your Animime material. Now, Select your existing rig and clear all transformations, including posed bones and objects transformations. Your character should be returned to the scene origin. This will help with aligning the Animime rig. Move your character over to the side two meters and make sure you are in front view. Before you head over to the Animime panel, go to the Outliner and select the Collections folder you want the Animime rig assets to be stored in, just to keep things organized. Head over to the Animime panel and select AMFR X2 character. The selections available in this rig set are generic. In future updates, we will include more rig options such as Easy Snap, Shrink Wrap Rigs, and Female Animime Rigs. Select the eye options best suited for your character. More customization options will be available in the Shader Group node. Add the rig. Don't worry about the scale and the giant sphere. We'll deal with that in a moment. For now, let's switch over to the viewport shading mode to see the rig. Select your character's head mesh. Select bind from the Animime panel. This will snap the Animime rig to your character and add the Animime material to the empty slot we created earlier. A batch rename command will pop up. Take note of the Animime naming convention in the Outliner and rename your Animime assets accordingly. Please note, if the add-on senses any assets in the Outliner with the Animime naming convention, it will not allow you to proceed with a second character. Select the Animime armature. Scale and reposition it so the illustrations are aligned to the face. Parent the Animime armature to your character's head bone by shift selecting the Animime armature object and then the character armature. Enter into pose mode and select the head bone. Press Ctrl P and select bone. Test the head movement to make sure there are no errors. You can now return to object mode. Manually rename the Animime material to stay organized. This is not required, but it is good practice. Select your character's face mesh and enter into edit mode. Apply the material to the parts of the mesh that cover the face. Open the shader node editor in a new window. If you are building your character from scratch, feel free to customize the material shaders as you please. 
But if your character had a previously made texture, delete the nodes related to the temporary green texture and copy and paste your desired node setup into the Animime material. Connect the shader output to the shader mixer node in replacement of the existing principal BSDF node. In the Animime Group node, you can specify your desired custom attributes such as eye roughness, specularity, redness, and more. You'll notice the Animime Shader node group still contains the mouth key shapes value. This is a legacy feature. However, in version 1.0, we have a brand new mouth animation tool that makes it quick and easy to animate your character's mouth to audio. You can now change keyframes to reset your character in their animated position, if that applies to you. Navigate to the bottom of the Animime panel, and with your audio window open, and the record button selected, you're now free to scrub through the audio and add the phonemes corresponding to the dialogue. When you're done recording, press the record button again to stop adding keyframes. Repeat these steps for any additional characters in your scene. Hey Simon, how many additions do we have for the role of Mary? Happy animating!